how can we overcome this depressing feeling or feeling down at Christmas? Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi My name is John Fontaine. Welcome back to another episode of the Christmas Advice Show. Now, in today's show, I want to speak about a very important point. Now, Christmas is a really important part of your life before Islam. And genuinely, you know, subhanAllah, you know, it's a time where family comes close together and sometimes you can feel down in this period. You know, even even when you do celebrate Christmas as a as a non Muslim, sometimes it's a depressing time and and how can we overcome this depressing feeling or feeling down at Christmas? You know, because subhanAllah, a lot of the time we're reminiscing about the past, the good old times or whatever but a lot of the time when we actually look at the past it wasn't as good as we remember it you know, subhanAllah, all them you know, arguing and fighting what you had with family or friends and things that you regret that you did in your past you know, everyone has these things you know, from, be from before Islam but Christmas time itself it can be a very lonely place, it's very cold, it's dark, you know, and, and subhanAllah, it generally is a time when people get depressed. Now how can we overcome this as Muslims? Now, this again is some advice to Muslims who are born into Islam, Muslims who are well established in, in the religion, you know, that you have to help the new Muslims, you have to adopt them into your social circles, into your families. Now you have to understand that as new Muslims, they kind of like, they kind of orphans in a sense that, you know, many of them have lost members of their family, maybe they're not close with their family anymore, especially their extended family. Why? Because we were never close before, <laughs> you know, and we only used to see each other uh, weddings and funerals and uh, you know uh, christenings or bar mitzvahs whatever you know uh, but the, the point is that you know these people now have, have, are on their own they've lost their families you know even their friends and it's up to the Muslims to actually take on this opportunity for dawah this opportunity for charity and help opportunity to get Ajah from Allah in actually helping new Muslims, you know, invite them into your homes, you know, show them your culture, show them your family, make them feel welcome. And subhanAllah this is the best thing that you can do at the at the Christmas time and other times of the year like Eid and the both of the Eids and even Easter time, you know, times which are necessarily uh, points which they would have celebrated before that you have to adopt them and give them a good alternative and from the new Muslim side sometimes you have to impose yourself on the Muslim community you have to ask them for help because a lot of these Muslims they don't know what to do with new Muslims they don't think to invite you to their house they don't think that you don't that, that that you're that you're struggling with Christmas time. They don't think that you're struggling with your problem of your previous problem with alcohol, you know, and that things like this. So you have to find some close friends, some close brothers or sisters to actually be able to communicate with and, and explain to them, say, look, you know, this time of the year I get down, you know, I start thinking about certain things, this is a time when such a thing happened or whatever and you know, I need a lot of support at this time, I need some company, you know, I need people to to phone me, people to take me, you know, for some food or take me out and just, just, just some general company. Also, the number one advice is, again, coming back to Allah. Maybe the Muslims don't want to know, maybe the Muslims are not there for you, but guess what, Allah is there for you. 
Allah is there to help you. Allah is there to support you. And He is the one who will give you contentment. Allah says that only in a remembrance of Him will you find rest. Your heart will find rest. So think about it. By studying Islam, learning the seerah, learning about the life of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and the Sahaba, and all the Prophets, and the Quran, the Tafsir, you know, listening to inspirational lectures, you know, busying yourself with studying and learning more about Allah, more about his, his Prophet, peace be upon him, this will also help you get out of that state of depression and feeling uh, lonely around the Christmas period. I hope this is some help and advice. Again, I'm not a professional. I'm just giving you know some general advice of things that might help you. Jazakallah khair. Hope you enjoyed the show. Please join us next time. Assalamu alaikum.